Here's the deal. I was reflecting on the rosters of the teams that have won championships in the past, how they looked at the beginning of the season compared to how they looked when they won the championship. And so I went back and looked at the rosters of every champion since 2016. And one thing became obviously obvious to me. The 2022 Golden State Warriors are the only champion between 2016 and 2022 to have a roster notably different from the beginning in their season compared to the end of their season. So why does all this matter well? It's pretty easy, because no current championship winning group has a noticeably refashioned roster from October, when the season began, until June, when the CISO. James Wiseman and Andrew Wiggins Draymond midway through the season, the starting five seems like this, Steph Curry, Kahi Leonard, Andrew Wiggins, Draymond, and Kevin Looney. By the time the playoffs started out and until the last game of the NBA season, the roster seemed like this, Steph Poole, Kyle Leonard, Andrew Wiggins, and Draymond. So over the direction of an 82-game season, the Warriors starting five simply their beginning five noticeably modified at least three times for a large stretch of the Dr. Jonathan Kaminga. It's crazy to think that in the span of five months, the Warriors went from starting Juan Toscano Anderson to starting Gary Payton II, Otto Porter Jr., and the Manja by Eliza. The Warriors also had to make some changes to their starting lineup after the All-Star break. The Warriors did a great job making things work, but here's the other aspect that most people are missing. While all this was going on, the team figured out a cutting-edge system, and by the time the 2021 NBA season rolled around, they had what I consider to be the deadliest starting five mixture in the league. After filling in for the injured Clay for the primary few months of the season, Jordan Poole gambled his mind off and became relegated to the bench. However, after Draymond suffered a back injury, Poole was returned in the starting five. Even though the effects did not immediately show inside the win-loss column, the Warriors saw a system that they concept might want to take them to the promised land. The emergence of Andrew Wiggins as a most appropriate defender had become a prized reveal, and even though it appeared that this ultrasound small ball lineup might have their paintings cut out for them at the shielding give up, they exceptionally took complete strain on the shielding give up and stored afloat whilst Draymond wasn't around. I'm referring to your point guard, shooting guard, and small forward forming one of the deadliest scoring trios in basketball, led by means of a barrage of three-point shooting and a deadly range display that we saw nearly every night and I didn't even mention the scoring firepower that came in stretches from Andrew Wiggins at the four. Now I don't know what exactly satisfied Steve Kerr and the Warriors to go all out offensively. Bench talent is just another name for additionally. From a contractual standpoint, I think Jordan Poole's deal with the dubs is the most useful part. Andrew Wiggins, or maybe even Draymond Green, as I mentioned in a previous video, the Warriors might be better off buying out Andrew for Anthony Davis than trading for Draymond Green, who has a player option worth $27 million for next summer. This is because Wiggins and Poole will be free agents at that time, and whatever happens to those players will have a huge impact on the team going forward.